Welcome back. We discovered a missile launch. In the Skepsis system. Which is nearby, so we're gonna deal with that. Let's just uh, mark the other planet as visited. And head back to Skepsis. Darwin. Wallace. Well, it's not, not really surprising if Darwin's there. That there would also be a Wallace. Watson. All kinds of scientists here. Guess uh, Skepsis. The name is... Detected an anomaly. Perhaps somewhat... Um, Self-explanatory. Let's see uh, what's going on with these missiles. A large moon, Franklin retains a trace atmosphere of carbon dioxide, but its desolate surface holds no signs of water or life. In order to defend Watson from the pirates of the Terminus systems, Franklin is home to two Alliance spaceports and naval bases capable of fielding six fighter squadrons each and a classified number of interplanetary ballistic missiles. Mass Effect fields keep the gravity inside its insulations at a comfortable level for long-term level living. And apparently some Batarians took over. Launch detected. Report to hazard shelters immediately. Repeat. Javelin Mark II missile launch detected. Report. Probe away. Something on our sensors. Scans detect an Alliance colony defended by a Javelin Mark II missile base. A distress signal indicates that the base is compromised by Batarians who have launched two missiles at the Alliance colony. Total destruction of the colony is imminent. Zero probability of survivors if missiles strike. Find the control panel in the Javelin Mark II missile base. Time of impact calculated. Landing party will have five minutes to deactivate the missiles after shuttle touchdown. Well, that's just peachy. Means we don't have an awful lot of time. Um, I'm gonna take Garrus and Jack. Can't do anything with those two points. Still waiting for him. At least this mission shouldn't take long, considering we're on a timer again. Much like the crashing ship. Amatarians. Warning. Two missiles are... Major firefight here. Looks bad. Oh! Damn it! Oh. 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 This should slow him down. Nice shooting! Oh. Garrus, uh... Understood. Why don't you try sniping? That is what you do best, after all. Oh, this appears to be a dead end. I guess that, uh, was the... personnel of the base. What? Only four symbols. Heads up. Heads up. Okay. Because of shot ready. Never saw it coming. There's still guys around here. Oh. 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 
Remember that bypassing something doesn't stop the time, so it's really a bad idea to try and do that while there's still these guys there. Passive shot ready. One less to worry about. Never saw me coming. Hostiles up ahead. Because of shot ready. Ha. Take that. Is that it? Apparently, we just need to hack this. There we go. There is only one remaining kill switch code. Therefore, only one missile can be stopped. Use the kill switch code to save your selected target. Oh, that's just great. Apparently, we can't save both targets. We can choose either to save the spaceport, industrial district, missile one target, spaceport, industrial district, apply kill switch to protect, alliance interests and technical viability, albeit at the cost of hundreds of lives in the city. Residential district, missile two target, capital city, apply kill switch here to save the city and hundreds of lives. If its industrial area destroyed, however, the colony will no longer be viable and will have to be evacuated. Yeah, so we either have a viable colony with no inhabitants or um, an unviable colony with people still alive. Well, considering uh, the collectors have been abducting a lot of people, leaving empty colonies behind, I think relocating them shouldn't be that difficult. So, of course, I'm going to... Uh, save the people. Always save lives over uh, buildings, I suppose. That should do it. There may also have been people at the spaceport, but I suppose fewer than uh, in the city. But we still have the opportunity to do stuff. So there might still be stuff to take around here. And there is. This appears to be empty now. This is where all the enemies came from, the other, on the other side. I guess we got everything. Prevented Batarian radicals from destroying colony on Franklin. Protected colony's residential core. Thousands of lives saved. Experience, 7500 credits, 2000 palladium. Well, I guess that's enough uh, side quests for the time being. Unless there's another distress call in the area. Which I doubt. No messages for you, Commander. Oh. No thank you from the people we saved? Maybe it'll come later.
let's uh, finish up this system. And then I actually kind of want to go and help Kasumi. Master Thief Kasumi Goto has problem has a problem. A ruthless arms dealer called uh, named Donovan Hawk killed her partner Keiji Okuda and stole Okuda's gray box, a neural implant that stores memories and information. Kasumi has planned a daring heist to recover Okuda's gray box and has asked for help in pulling it off. Once this is done, Kasumi can dedicate all her attention to completing Shepard's mission. Well, let's uh, go deal with that. That's actually near the Citadel. We're still not going to the Citadel. Soon, though. But not yet. So Thane and Garrus will have to wait for a bit. Right now, Kasumi is next here in the Boltzmann system. More scientists. There's Beckenstein. The recipient of the first wave of Earth's colonization efforts, Beckenstein's founders has had a decidedly less agrarian plan than Eden Prime. The mission of Beckenstein's first colony was to become Earth's off-planet manufacturing base, ingratiating humanity into galactic culture by producing needed goods. Meeting with mixed success for the first generation, Beckenstein then leapfrogged its competition by producing high-quality luxury goods that went straight to nearby markets via the Citadel. Today, Beckenstein is known as the Human's Ilium, a place where new money tycoons flaunt their wealth that the have-nots are rarely spoken of. It's apparently a very rich planet. There are very few uh, poor people here. And I believe this is a uh, single squad made mission. So we don't get to pick someone, it's just Kasumi and Shepard. See? I guess uh, trying to break into someone's building with a squad of armed people, not such a good idea. You clean up well, Mr. Solomon Gunn. Hawk won't know what hit him. I assume Solomon Gunn is my cover? You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. There's a magazine called Badass Weekly? That wouldn't surprise me, to be honest. Remind me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic, willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. Not so bad. I take it I'm wearing this getup for a reason. You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look great. You should wear this stuff more often. And why aren't you wearing something else then? Now's probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend Hawk is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. 
And then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? KG's gray box holds a lot of priceless personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. What's in the gray box that makes it worth all this trouble? The gray box holds KG's memories. Everything from all the codes and plans he stole to... all the time we spent together. Wrapped up in those memories is the secret he stole. KG never told me what it was, but the information got him killed. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. This is our stop. After you, Mr. Gunn. Uh, just one moment, sir. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem here? Yeah. No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met Donovan Hawk. I've heard a lot about you. Name's Solomon Gunn. And though I've heard a lot about you, you've been very busy lately, if the extra net is to be believed. Sir, the scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? You may pass through, Mr. Gunn, with my apologies. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. Care to explain why my friend has to stand outside? I don't like the look of your friend, so she stays outside. Simple as that. See, I told you she should have worn something fancy as well. She really expects to just waltz in there looking like that? No problem. You're the host. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go as I expected. Any idea why he'd send you away? No. We've never seen each other in person. And no one knows what I look like. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. I can't blame him. Yeah, because you know, that uh, hood you're wearing just screams trustworthy. What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. Now why can't she cloak that effectively during battle? Figure out the next step then. All right. We're inside of Mr. Hawk's party. Wearing some uh, fancy clothes as well. New casual outfit. The name's Shepard. James Shepard. Um, anyway. Also, I got the distinct impression that Mr. Hawk might be South African. How well, as long as he doesn't start complaining about fucking prawns, I'm not too worried. How did you ever contain that situation on the Olive? Oh, that? A quick application of force, a little pressure, and bam! Done. Thank goodness. I thought those rabble would dog you for years. Nice uh, clientele he's got here. Also some Eclipse marks, apparently. Security room. We'll probably have to get in there at some point. Let's case the vault and figure out what we have to do. Some say Commander Shepard is still alive. Really? Oh, please. It's wishful thinking at best. <clears throat> Let's get out of here before someone recognizes us. His Mr. Hawk has expensive taste. Not bad. Abstract art. None of these people have anything to say. Looks like he doesn't want his guests wandering upstairs. There are people upstairs. How did they get there? He's the gun. We need to case the vault gun. You can chat up Hawk later. Alright. Just looking around. 
It's not such a problem, I hope. Where does this go? Hawk's private rooms are off limits without proper clearance. I'm dying to get in there, but we have to scope out the vault first. Alright, I guess we'd better. Where does this go? Downstairs. Perhaps the illustrious vault is around here somewhere? Very nice. There's more here than I expected. Statue isn't going to attack. Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier, DNA scanner. Looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This going to be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it. Keiji could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. So you can do Let's it in a it. coma? Or, I don't know. What does it even mean? Um, also, it's a good thing there's no security cameras in this room. Otherwise we'd be screwed. Apparently we need to find... Um, ways to disable all of this stuff. I have no idea if you can get a game over. Careful. The barrier's still up. We'll have to shut it down to get to the door. Apparently not. If this were a Sierra game, of course you could, but it's not, so you can't. It looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. Okay, let's just follow the power cables. That's some heavy duty power cabling. No, uh, let's deal with this first. More art. Who built this place? Power cabling takes the most unconventional route possible. One sec. Looks like we found it. That should take care of the barrier. Let's just hope no one notices that. Fortunately, there's no one here. Now all we need is a password and a voice sample. And some DNA. What's your read on that Archangel guy? I hear he's dead. Or gone or something. Good riddance, I say. If only Garrus were here. Datapad. Private reams. No way we can sneak out of that party. The place is locked down tight and security chief Rowe is in charge. No way Rowe would let us get past her. Let that get past her. I'd rather stand around bored on guard duty than risk her wrath. Sorry. Samuels. Chief Rowe, huh? She sounds like a hard ass. Communications, I could probably use this information. Probably. Nice view. I can see why they call it uh, the human zillium. It is uh, somewhat similar. There's definitely a resemblance. Nice place uh, to retire to, I suppose. I hear Mr. Hawk's vault is exquisite. Who could know? He never lets anyone near it. Well, we'll find out, hopefully. I think you need a lot of uh, money to retire here, though. It is possible to sneak into the private quarters from here, but there is a better way. So we're not going to do that. You can go actually get through that door, which... Um, has better results. Let's see if we can uh, get into the security room. See if we want access to the guards' communications. Let me unlock that security room door for you. There we go. And that would be the place to go. 
Also, we might be able to find something we can use there. DNA would probably be found in the private quarters. Ready when you these are. waterfalls along the walls. Wait, why do I have to bypass this one while well, Kasumi did the last one? See what you can find. Who needs pistols? Medical station. Some kind of a uh, Krogan cartoon. Actually, it's uh, a scene from the um, iPhone game. Game. Mass Effect Galaxy. If I'm not mistaken. Ooh, there's a wall safe. 7200 credits! You can actually get quite a lot of credits in this uh, mission. Datapad. Let's see. Nance. I have that problem too. So many passwords around here. Can't keep them straight. The password for tonight is Perugia. So it's not even that easy to remember. It's no big deal. A voice scanner means the password's only useful to Hawk anyway. After this party, wanna grab some beers? Let me know. Samuels. Security is great in this place. Got something? The password is Perugia. Huh. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. I tapped their communications. I think we can get past that private room guard. Tell him Chief Rowe sent you. We still need that voice sample from Hawk. Alright. Well, at least we got one piece of the puzzle. Fortunately, nobody is suspicious of us going into the security. Let's see if we can keep uh, Mr. Hawk talking. There he is. All you need to do is keep him talking long enough for me to get a voice print. Pull out the charm on this one, Shep. Whenever you're ready. After you. Mr. Gunn, hope you're having a good time. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening. I hope. I understand the security, but who would dare try to break into Donovan Hawk's home? Gun, in our line of work, we attract a certain element. Few understand the pains we take to keep the barbarians at bay. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. They only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me and you are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us, the cleaners, the support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there always be a market for the things we do. My speech. I said get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Enjoy the party, Mr. Gunn. Let's go crack that voice scanner. Actually, I'm gonna look for some DNA first. See if we can pass, get past that guard. I think if you climb up the balcony, you have to fight some guys. And if you do this, you don't. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I have clearance to go in. On whose authority? I have authorization from Chief Rowe. Okay, one second. Chief Rowe, Samuels, have you given access authorization to Mr. Hawk's private rooms? They have access, Samuels. They'll stop bothering me. Got it. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. Okay, you're clear to go in. Enjoy the party. Apparently, Kasumi sounds like uh, Chief Rowe. And finding out that she's kind of a hard ass helped her uh, impersonate her, I suppose. I wonder what the private rooms would be like of someone like Mr. Hawk. Look for anything we can get usable DNA from. Just make it quick and quiet. Alright. 
It's clean. It's a plant. Okay, that's uh, kind of an auspicious start. <laughs> Found a sample? No, a credit chit. Plus one credit! <laughs> In the cushions, I suppose. No hair, no skin flakes. The housekeepers must be thorough. Interesting arrangement with the bed in the middle of the room. Good morning. Time to wake up. Sorry. Oh, that was great. All safe. There's no DNA there, but there is money. Let's steal from the rich and give to us the uh, Help Shepherds Stop the Collectors Fund. Let's see. Hmm. No DNA, but looks like Hawk's been trying to crack Cagey's gray box. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked the encryption yet. Empty. Too bad. A cigarette butt would have been a good source. Wine glass might be. Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. We're going to need more than this for the scanner, though. How much do we need? The cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. It's probably contaminated, though. We should find another sample. And there's a fire burning here, even though there's no one in the room. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. That's too bad. Okuda Desc Decryption Project Update. Little progress to report. We have now completed dictionary attacks using words and phrases from 4800 galactic languages. Research into the Okuda family has not produced any matches. It is unlikely that a random brute force approach will produce a result within our lifetimes. Given the nature of grey box technology, it's possible that the decryption key may not be a password at all. It could be a memory, an emotion, even a smell. The permutations could be infinite. I suggest that we begin investigating alternative methods for breaking through the security on the box. We can probably get Hawk's DNA off the data pad. He seems to have obsessed over this. That should do it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we... Got what we needed. Now let's go crack that vault. And like I said, I think you have to take some people out. If you go here, the alternative route. This way is more dis discreet. More befitting a master thief. It would be nice if we can just get through this entire mission without having to fight anything. Or anyone. That got it. The barrier's down. Yep, seems like uh, we were able to disable the power source properly. Why that doesn't trigger, trigger any alarms is uh, a mystery. DNA identification affirmed. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. Password required. Perusia. Voice ID accepted. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. That seems to have done it. I'll check for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed. Um... Shouldn't you have disabled the camera before walking into its field of view? Or at least cloaked? Well, at least if there is more... ...combat to be done here, we'll be ready for it.
a bit more suitable than uh, just this casual outfit and a pistol. Of course, we only st we still only have two squad members. So let's hope we won't face too much resistance. Nice. So this is Hawk's vault. Very nice. This scanner will hone in on the gray box. It's not far. That might be, but still, I want to uh, look around before we find the gray box. Michelangelo's David. Michelangelo's David. Just wow. Think we could get this out through the door? I think someone might notice. Also, um, that's a very convenient piece of damage. Statue of a Krogan. Another statue of a Krogan. Hawk has good taste. I'll give him that. I don't know, I wouldn't want that in my uh, backyard. Medical station. This is nice. Oddly relaxing. It's... I don't know what it is. Wow. Imagine that thing coming at you in a dark alley. I think that's actually from... Uh, another... Bioware game. Doesn't look like much. But that might be one of the most valuable pieces here. Turian art is rare outside of Palavin. For good reason, I say. Why? Ugh. Rachni Queen. I guess everything's valuable to someone. More Krogans! This looks like Quarian script. This has got to be old. When was the last time the Quarians wrote on stone? Last Tuesday? Probably longer ago than that. That's... impressive. Not sure what it is, though. Not sure either. There's actually the uh, gray box, but I'm not done looking around yet. The Statue of Liberty? How did Hawk get Lady Liberty's head? Damn you, Hawk! Damn you to hell! You damn dirty apes! Also, it was Earth all along. No, wait, it's Beckenstein. I could still get money for something like this, even outside the Alliance. Asari go nuts for this sort of thing. They do? Creepy. That's like one of those statues we found um, on Ilos. We now know, based on the collectors, that this doesn't really look like the Profians. I guess maybe they may have been a, uh, a civilization from an even earlier cycle. Did we get everything? No, there's a Turian ship. A model of the Kara. It's like a Turian Titanic, the way I hear it. What, it hit a space iceberg? Which I guess would be a comet. I feel like its eyes are following me. Yikes. He sure likes his Krogans, doesn't he? Locust. That's a Casa Locust. No. The Casa Locust. The gun that killed two presidents. It even comes with a perfect copy, too. I'm sure Hawk won't mind if we borrow these. I'll take it. X-12D Locust SMG acquired. Following squad members are now able to use this weapon. Quite a lot of them, actually. It's a new SMG. Um, it actually does sl somewhat less damage than the... Uh, Tempest I was using. But it's more balanced in 
its distribution of damage against shields, armor, and health. And it's a heck of a lot more accurate. And also still better than the original Shuriken. So, I'm going to use this one now. There's the gray box. Oh my god. There it is. Don't bother Miss Goto. It's cold locked. Oops. I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. You know me. I don't like to disappoint. I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open. But you're still going to die, screaming, just like your old friend. Let's see you try. This is where your special skills come into play, Shepard. Let's do this. 